Contagion. Captain Picard and the crew respond to a distress call from the Enterprise's sister ship, the USS Yamato. The Yamato is having problems in the neutral zone. They're having a bunch of computer malfunctions. Data explains what's going on, and I really like Riker's reaction. It might be due to problems currently being experienced by the Yamato. Upon talking to the captain of the Yamato, he reveals to Picard that he has no idea why the computer is failing. And when Picard asks why they're even in the neutral zone, the captain says he thinks he found Iconia, which is a legendary archaeological site with technology that could be dangerous in the wrong hands. Captain Varley apparently decided to make an investigation without consulting anybody above him, even though he's going into the neutral zone. And then their ship explodes. <laughs> Since they're in the neutral zone, eventually the Romulans show up, and the situation is very tense. And Picard says they'll leave the neutral zone once he figures out why the Yamato was destroyed, because it's possible it was the Romulans, and he just wants to make sure. Jord explains the mechanics of why the Yamato exploded, and the only explanation he can think of is a design flaw. Picard unnecessarily decides to stay in the neutral zone. Troy suggests that they leave now that they know the Romulans were not responsible. They've been using the ship for so long, and they've never had any problems, not to mention all the other ships that presumably use the same technology. It seems that sticking around would be more dangerous than leaving. It could even be something in the neutral zone that they're being exposed to. It would be way safer to move away from the definite threat of the Romulans. So Picard reviews the logs of Captain Varley and decides to assume the Yamato's mission and go after Arconia himself. At this point, the Enterprise starts experiencing problems of its own. This is the first time Picard orders his tea, T. Earl Grey, hot. Because the computer is malfunctioning, it puts a plant in a cup. And Wesley asks, Didn't you order tea, sir? No, he ordered a freaking plant in a cup. <laughs> what a dumb question. And the whole reason Wesley is there is because he's troubled by everyone on the Yamato dying and wants to talk to Picard about it. Why doesn't he go to Troy? That's what she's on the ship for. Or even Guinan at this point. They get to the planet in question, and a probe comes up to scan them. Jordy thinks that Yamato being probed by the Iconians is what caused their problems in the first place. Jordy needs to tell them to destroy the probe, but the communication's not working, so he has a very silly, over-the-top journey to the bridge to tell them to destroy the probe. It turns out that the probe is a transmitter that tries to rewrite the ship's code itself. I find it hard to believe that an alien program would even be able to be uploaded to the Enterprise. It unfortunately reminded me of the end of Independence Day when they upload a virus to stop the alien ships. When they're trying to figure everything out, at one point, Jordy says, now Probably 90% of what goes on in the ship is done automatically, completely out of our control. Which is terrifying on its own, even in completely normal day-to-day -day operations. Pulaski's having problems in sickbay, and she yells at a guy about things not working, which is not something that he has any control over. She's just yelling at some random guy. Then she tells this other guy to set a splint, and the guy says, That's crazy. That's not practicing medicine. Oh, yeah. And it's just more dumb Star Trek future dialogue. Picard wants to go down to Iconia to find a solution, and he argues with Riker about leading the away team. We already know they don't care about rules. So Picard, Worf, and Data decide to go down to Iconia themselves to see if they can find an answer. I would not get on the transporter for any reason at this point, considering everything is going wrong. O'Brien even warns them. We're aware of the risks. Energize. The Romulans arm their torpedoes and Riker tells Wesley to get their shields up, but they aren't working. Riker doesn't give any other orders. They're about to be fired on. He doesn't even suggest evasive maneuvers or anything. But I do really like when he says, If it should become necessary to fight, could you arrange to find me some rocks to throw at them? Picard and the away team find an Iconian building with active technology, and Picard and Data try to interpret the language to run the computer. To give the ship something to do, in an attempt to allay their fears, 
Riker directs everybody to prepare for evacuation, which is probably the worst possible thing to do to make people think everything is going to be okay. People would <laughs> automatically start saying, why are we evacuating? Is our ship going to explode too? Are we going to be stuck here in the neutral zone with the Romulan ship sitting right above us? Also, he tells Troy to be in charge of that. She says she's needed on the bridge in case the Romulan captain talks to them again. Riker says, I'll manage. Right now, they're more important. But they're not. The threat is the Romulans. The away team activates a gateway that can link directly to other areas in the galaxy. Picard says they can't risk the technology falling into Romulan hands. And stupidly, because the writers couldn't think of any other way, the Enterprise, for some reason, is on the cycle of doorways they could go through. Data is zapped by an Iconian program and has to explain to Picard how to destroy the ruins to deactivate the Iconian technology. I like Brent Spiner's acting when Data malfunctions. I detonate it. How? How do I do that? The probes, sir. Probes. Data tries to tell Picard how to key the launch sequence, but the controls don't sound very practical. Blue. Amber. Amber. Red. That's the launch sequence. The most advanced civilization in the history of the galaxy only uses primary colors. Worf goes back to the Enterprise with Data and takes him to engineering. The Iconian program is overriding Data's systems, and he dies. And then suddenly he wakes back up. Geordi figures out how to wipe the Iconian program. The solution was a shutdown and a total wipe of all affected memory. You would think he would have tried that solution earlier. As the station is exploding on the planet, Picard can't wait for the cycle to get back to the Enterprise, so he ends up on the Romulan ship, because for some reason that's in the cycle too. And then the Enterprise beams him back. They transmit how to fix the Romulan ship, which is about to self-destruct, but I thought it was odd that Picard didn't even consider it. He just says, Take us out of here. The Romulan vessel is set to auto-destruct and they can't deactivate. Wait, sir. Open hailing frequency. What a jerk. But when Picard beams on the Romulan ship, the explosion is right behind him. Wouldn't the explosion come through the gateway too? Well, wouldn't air and bacteria and stuff be going through too? What if an Iconian farted? You know, the one person at that station was like, it wasn't me, I swear. Contagion. Overall? A very drawn out episode with a problem that wasn't that interesting to begin with. The only thing that was potentially interesting was the stuff down on the planet, but it took too long to actually get there and nothing really happened. And everything with the Romulans was entirely predictable. For being the first time that they really were a big part of an episode in this show, it was really disappointing. I would give it a C plus. I'm giving this one a C minus. The core idea has a lot of potential, but all anyone does is keep talking about all the Iconian who, what, when, where, and why without ever doing anything with it. It builds all this intrigue without taking it anywhere or applying the allure of the Iconians, and then all of a sudden the episode is over. There's a lot of humor and offhand remarks from all the characters, which is not typical of the show at all, and I would bet by the next episode the characters will revert right back. The whole episode felt like a wasted opportunity, which are the most disappointing ones for me.